If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. Hello, self-developers, and welcome to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for Self-Development, where I will be reviewing all of the books on self-development that can change your life for the better this year and years to come. It is said that if we keep on doing what we always did, we will keep on getting what we always got. In other words, to change our output, we first have to change our input. Today is August 1st. 2021 and this is episode 29 and today we'll be reviewing the audible book crunch point the 21 secrets to succeeding when it matters the most by brian tracy this audible book will teach you how a series of proven practical techniques for overcoming any setback that may come your way on the job at home or anywhere in your life it is not how far you fall but how high you bounce. Every person and organization experiences problems, difficulties, unexpected reversals, and other challenges. But when the going gets tough, the tough get going. It is only by facing the challenge of a crunch point that you demonstrate to yourself and others what you are really made of. As I have stated in previous podcasts, circumstances do not make the man They merely reveal him to himself and to others. The only part of the challenge response equation that you can control is your response. All that you can determine is how you are going to respond to the inevitable ups and downs of business and personal life. Your response will always be under your control. What does not kill you will make you stronger. The key to performing your best during the crunch times of your life is for you to focus single-mindedly on the solutions rather than the problems. There is an old poem that states, for every problem under the sun, there is a solution or there is none. If there is a solution, go and find it. If there isn't, never mind it. Chapter 1. Stay Calm He that would be superior to external influences must first become superior to his own passions. Refuse to react automatically and unthinkingly. Your response to the crisis is everything. When problems arise, calm yourself by saying, this too shall pass. Every problem that you face, there is the seed of an equal or greater benefit or advantage. When you discipline yourself to look for the good in the situation and seek the valuable lessons that the situation or crisis might contain, you automatically remain calm, positive, and optimistic. Seek the valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty. Chapter 2. Be confident in your abilities. Courage is the price that life extracts for granting peace. Talk to yourself confidently in order to rebuild your self-confidence. In order to be liked, you must first like yourself. Tell yourself that there is no problem that I cannot solve. Remind yourself that problems do not come to obstruct, but to instruct. Don't worry about things that you cannot change. Act boldly and unseen forces will come to your aid. Accept responsibility for the situation and focus on the solution. Chapter 3. Dare to go forward. When a brave man takes a stand, the spines of others are often stiffened. Desperate situations often require desperate measures. Leaders have a clear and exciting vision of where they want to go and what they want to accomplish in the future. Vision separates leaders from followers. 
Courage is not the lack of fear, but the control of fear. If you do the thing you fear, the death of fear is certain. Courage will always follow courageous behavior. Act as if it were impossible to fail, and it shall be. We must find solutions to solve the problem and get through the crunch. This is the hallmark and the true test of leadership. Chapter 4. Get the Facts. The greatest test of courage is to bear defeat without losing heart. Face the world as it is rather than how you wish it could be. Whatever cannot be changed becomes a fact. Get the facts. Facts don't lie. What cannot be cured must be endured. Focus on what you can change and not what you cannot change. Don't confuse correlation with causation. Chapter 5. Take Control Courage is the ladder on which all the other virtues mount. Leaders focus on the future, not the past. Leaders accept responsibility and take charge. Leaders focus on what can be done rather than who is to blame. Non-leaders avoid responsibility and pass things off to others. Leaders will always say, if it's to be, it's up to me. Focus on solutions and what can be done now to solve the problem. There is no failure except in no longer trying. Chapter 6. Cut your losses. Success goes not necessarily to the strongest or most intelligent, but to the species that adopts and adjusts most rapidly to changing circumstances. Knowing what you know now, what would you do differently? Cut off all non-essential expenses and eliminate all non-essential activities. Cut your losses sooner rather than later. A steered perseverance, harsh and continuous, rarely fails at its purpose for its silent power grows irresistibly greater with time. Chapter 7. Manage the Crisis To be courageous means to be afraid, but to go a little step forward anyway. Any decision is better than no decision. Develop and if this happened, then what mentality? Develop a contingency plan for possible emergencies and crisis. Stay ready so you do not have to get ready. Deal with all crises when they occur. How you manage the inevitable crisis is the measure of your level of wisdom and maturity. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising each time we fail. Chapter 8. Communicate constantly. The best measure of courage is the fear that is overcome. Always lead from the front. People will seldomly do what they do not see you do first. If you have a business or a team, identify the key people outside of your business whose continued support and patronage you need to survive and prosper. Identify the key people in your business and tell them clearly of any challenges and how you are going to deal with it. There should be a no surprises policy with everyone. A man can rise above his circumstances and achieve whatever he sets his mind to if he exercises unshakable persistence and a positive mental attitude. Chapter 9. Identify constraints. Obstacles will look large or small for you according to whether you are large or small. For you to get out of the crunch you are in and achieve your business and personal goals, you must identify your constraints. Constraints are the factors restricting your progress. The greater clarity you have of about what exactly it is you want, the easier it will be for you to determine the best way to achieve it. Write your goals down using the present tense. Once you have determined your goal, make a list of the steps that you will have to take to achieve that goal. Identify the main constraint that is keeping you from where you are to where you want to go. What goal would you set for yourself if you knew you could not fail? Chapter 10. Unleash your creativity. 
Do not pray for tasks equal to your powers. Pray for powers equal to your task. You have within you the ability to solve any problem and achieve any goal, but you must use your creativity for it to do you any good. Your creativity increases with practice. Your creativity is like a muscle. It grows stronger with use. You were born a potential genius. The rewards for those who persevere far exceed the pain that must precede the victory. Closing thoughts. On a scale of one to five, I would give this oval book a super duper five for giving step-by-step -step techniques on how to overcome any setback or crunch point that comes your way. To find out more about this oval book, go to www.audible.com and download this oval book or go to www.briantracy.com for more information. Please subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform and share this episode via text or email with friends and family and other people that you care about. And if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, please leave a review. For more episodes of the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development and a free 30-day trial of Audible Plus, go to www thepatrickkellypodcast.com to sign up. If you would like to donate a dollar or more to the support of this podcast, click the donate button at www.thepatrickkellypodcast.com and I'll be sure to thank you on the next episode. Shout out to Lisa, Mary, and David for donating to the Patrick Kelly Podcast for self-development. Thank you very, very much. This is the end of this podcast for today. Tune in next week, Sunday, for the next episode and the next Audible book of over 300 books that I'll be reviewing on the Patrick Kelly podcast for self-development. If you enjoy this podcast, take a moment to rate and review on Apple Podcasts. This really helps me out. Feel free to share this podcast with someone you care about. And remember, your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take care.